sea turtles. What a day. But we got so distracted by those beautiful creatures that we didn't realize how far we had drifted out into the sea. It was getting really dark, and we were getting really exhausted and didn't have the strength to paddle back. We had no food, no water, and the winds had picked up. I didn't know much about prayer at that age, but my friend had often told me about Jesus. So that night she prayed with me as we floated on the water. We prayed for God to protect us and for someone to come and save us. Were you scared? Of course, we thought that we wouldn't be saved. And when the sun came up, we realized just how far from shore we really were. We waited and waited, no sign of help. After a while, we heard a motorboat. We waved and yelled like crazy, and soon they came to rescue us. Then they, they pulled up beside us. I've never been so happy to see anyone in all my life. I, you know, if you would brought some technology with you, say a GPS or something, that whole thing would have never happened. I bet your parents were pretty mad when you got home, weren't they? Well, I'm sure technology white wasn't quite what it is today. We didn't have cell phones or internet. But when I got home, my parents were more scared than angry. When they saw that we had been saved, they forgot about the mess my friend had gotten into. So I guess you learned a good lesson, didn't you? Never explore the water. I told you, it can zap you, or a big fish can come and eat you, or you can get lost. It's just too dangerous. The water is a wonderful place to be, Hunter. I learned many lessons in that experience, but the biggest discovery came from something my friend shared with me about on the boat that night. She shared with me a promise she had received from her friend, Jesus. She told me about how her friendship with him had saved her, not just that night, but every night, and all the mistakes she had ever made. She told me that Jesus wanted to save me, too. So even though those people in the boat may have saved us on the water that day, I discovered that God promises to save me every day. That's an amazing story, Camille. A real life saving story. It, you know, Camille, your stories are starting to really grow on me. You should consider putting them on the internet, a blog or something. I think a lot of people would like to know about these promises you've been telling us about. I can set you up a website, maybe with some live video feeds. Oh, slow down, Hunter. You and that technological mind of yours. Goodbye, kids. We'll see you tomorrow.